The Chromebook Spin 13 looks nice, is made entirely out of metal and feels sturdy in hand, with a dark ash color skim and a few crude aluminum beveled edges around the interior and touchpad. There's a little bit of flex in the lid and in the keyboard deck, but you'll barely even notice it in real life use, as it has absolutely no effect on the screen or the typing experience. However, while I like the aesthetics and the build quality, I can't look past the fact that this is huge in comparison to some of the 13-inch Windows notebooks out there, and even compared to the Pixelbook, 12.1x 9.7x, 66 inches versus 11.4x 8.7x, 4 inches. It's also thicker and fairly heavy at about 3.2 pounds according to our scales, versus 2.4 pounds for the Pixelbook, but the weight is at least partially justified by the big battery inside. Regardless, I haven't seen this kind of bezels for a while, and the sensation is amplified by the 3, 2 screen ratio. People have been complaining about the bezels on the Pixelbook, and Acer actually went with thicker ones on this spin, one year later. Before you jump on me for comparing the spin to the Pixelbook, yes, I'm perfectly aware that's a more expensive product with a smaller battery and different kind of hardware. But I still believe Acer could and should have made this spin a little smaller. That apart though, the Spin 13 is fairly practical. The screen is held in place by two sturdy hinges, which allow to lift it up with a single hand, but you'll still need both hands to push it past 90 degrees. This computer is a convertible, and the screen goes back to 360 degrees, so you can use it as a regular notebook, but also as a tablet or in stand tent modes. It's mostly been a laptop for me, sitting on the desk or in my lap, and I reckon it's going to be the same for most of you. We'll have to get back to the Pixelbook when talking about the tablet experience, as the Splint 13 falls behind once more. The overall design doesn't allow the screen part to sit flushly on top of the main body while in tablet mode, and as a result the device is difficult to hold and use. On top of that, the Splint 13 is also chunky and heavy for a tablet, one more reason why this is primarily meant to be used as a laptop. I do have one gripe with the notebook mode as well, the sharp edges around the interior. The palm rest is spacious and offers good arm support, but your wrists are going to lean on these edges if you'll use this on a cramped desk, and they won't like it a bit. That aside though, the Spin is a great laptop and sits firmly anchored on the desk, thanks to the grippy feet on the bottom. The I.O. is rather limited, with two USB-C ports, a micro SD card reader and a full-size USB-A port. There's no HDMI so you'll need an USB-C to HDMI adapter to push video to a larger screen. I would have also preferred a full-size card slot, but I understand that one that could have entirely fit an SD card would have taken too much space.